Hey YouTube friends, I'm back uh, with a little update about the bee balm. Here's my tubs. I had three pitiful little tubs. Um, and I just wanted to show you these. This is a double walled tub, which is specifically designed for skincare products. And I used to use a metal tin that I got at Walmart for my customers. And then I ordered these online. They're much better. And they have a lid that matches and I put the sticker on there. Um, the stickers I use, I used to buy from Avery. Avery stickers are kind of expensive. Um, and so then I realized that Walmart had started making their own perfectly comparable sticker. It even says same template size as Avery 22817. And that's the size I use. It's 12 stickers to a sheet, five sheets to a package, so 60 stickers. Um, not too bad. And this is what I use. I can print them at home on my little black and white printer. Um, Avery has a website that you can use for free where you can um, pick that template and you can load up the image that you've chosen. Actually, for my bee balm now, I'm using their image, which is one that they let you choose. And you can lay the text on there and use that. And it has kind of a pretty little design. I used to have my own that I had made in PicMonkey years ago. Um, before they started charging. I'm always looking for free sites. So I'll turn this down here and you can see my three little tubs. Um, this just makes it look a little bit more professional. The stickers are expensive. They are. No way around. Although it, I have saved a little bit. Boy, they're not wanting to come off today. I've saved a little bit by um, buying the Walmart brand. That does help some. But, um, but I think it's worth it to make them look nice. Um, this, this does not, I do not have the ingredient list on here because when I sell it at the farmer's market, I have a little sign, I have a sign for every product I sell that lists the ingredients. And so when my customers come to the market, they can look at the sign and say, ah, that's what's in this product. And, and because I make it myself, I can really, um, I can describe exactly how it's made and tell them exactly what's in it. So there's the bee balm we made today. Now don't forget to make your own. This stuff is, um, is worth the effort. Even if you just have to go to Michael's and buy a little beeswax, um, it, it doesn't take very much. And it's so worth it, you'll be making, um, with a little bit of beeswax, you'll be able to make some lotion for a year or two. Okay? All right, I think that's it, and I'll have another video. I think the next thing I'm going to do is um, make shampoo bars again. That's the next thing I need to do. All right? See you later. Um, and I'm out in the chicken coop. I'm about to let the birds out, give them a little bit of a snack, and introduce you to my birds. I have five hens, a rooster, and then I've got a broody hen sitting on two little baby chicks. And we'll maybe meet them too, okay? Come on, guys. Come on. Hello, Roo Roo. Good morning. Anybody want a treat? Clementine, there you are. There's Sheena. There's Sylvie. Roo Roo is the big white one. There's Brownie. Now the one over there is Pepper. She's real shy. She's my youngest hen. So these are my five laying hens right now, although only one of them, I think Clementine, who's this gray one here, she's the only one that's really laying right now because the other ones thought they wanted to go broody with their friend, um, Penny Penny. So they've got some food. Here, I'll get the camera down here a little closer. And this is their run. And it's, uh, it's got bird netting on top. It looks frightful, but it really does work. It's got vines growing on it, but it's plenty tall enough for them and I can stand up in here easily. Um, and the coop looks terrible. So we're not going to show you much of the coop. It looks awful, but it works. So I'm going to pause this and show you Henny Penny. Good morning, Henny Penny. 
there's one little baby. I need to clean this out overnight. There's another little baby. That's going to be a white one. This is going to be a gray one. Um, that one, I think, was, what's her name? Pepper's baby. And this one, I think, actually came from Sylvie, who's my oldest half Silky. This one is one of um, Sylvie's daughters, so that makes her probably a quarter Silky. Um, that rooster over there is supposed to be 100% Silky. I'm not sure if he is, but he's at least part Silky. All, my, all of my birds are part Silky, and that makes them a little tamer, and it makes them very good mamas. So here is, this is my coop. This is a little broody box. I've got them some water. I'm going to give them more food. They have tons of food in there already. And the little babies are doing fine. That's all I got out of 11 eggs, I'm sorry to say. All right, Henny Penny, I'm going to take care of you and leave you to it. I mentioned a minute ago that um, Clementine was my only hen laying right now. And these are Clementine's eggs. And I know that they're, that she's the only one laying because I saw her go in the laying box on morning. There was nothing in there beforehand. I went back and I found one of these. And you can see how they all are exactly the same color. Um, if you have a bunch of hens that are all different breed combinations and they, you have, I have six laying hens and six different colors of eggs. Um, so we were running low. So look what we had to do. <gasps> eggs in the store. How embarrassing. But you got to have eggs. And I've got five birds right now who aren't laying, which is just appalling. Usually I can sell eggs. But the others will start laying again really soon, and I'll have a bunch of eggs. But aren't these beautiful? Yeah. Thank you, Clementine. Early evening at Red Robin Farm. honeysuckle on top of the grapevine. 